our dear friends and collaborators. You may know her from the bands Toupee and Columba Fasciata. She's also a visual artist and performer in other respects. Whitney Allen will be here. <laughs> we have the band Violet Mice here to answer some questions and play us out with a few sweet tunes. <laughs>
so excited to bring to you today from her home, actually in Dallas, I believe. She's going to be following us from today. She just moved. Um, we first met her at, I think, our salon that we host, and she was one of the very first people who told us that the work we were doing was performance art, um, <laughs> which she didn't mean as an insult at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, and it, it, it changed our work, I think, for the better. Uh, her name is Christian Cruz. She is a cultural producer and a performing artist based in Mexico City. She works for Centro de Cultura Digital Radio, curating an international program called Foraneo. She's a freelance writer, documenter, teacher, dancer, singer, actor. Born to Hannah, underwater, in a bathtub, she works within the subculture, DIY, and ephemeral. And she would like you all to know she reps queer fans and Chicanas in the work she does whenever she can. We are so excited to bring her to you today via Skype. I'll go over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. 
to us later in the evening. But for now, Amir George is in, in the, the building, building, building right now. And right. is going to join us. We'll tell you a little bit. Oh. Oh, it's oh, Christian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Christian. Oh, it's Christian. It's Christian. Sure. Oh, yeah.
because I, I, I'm really just, I'm here to spy on you because you never emailed me back. And we, we emailed you yesterday. We emailed you last night. Well, week. you told me what time it started, but I have to get to work. I, what time is it right now? It's like 9, uh, it's like 9.36. Yeah, I have to get to work by like 9.45. So. I thought we got this all because I started out the emails. I don't know. Like I'm pretty sure it didn't go through. I sent you like 10 today. I, you didn't get them? Uh, I think we would have gotten them. I mean, like we could, well, I could, we can, yeah, we can look. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I was I was a little disappointed. But if you if you want, I could answer some questions now. Um, please, yeah. please, God, come <laughs> up, oh God. come up here. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. I hit for me. Subscribe. I just I felt kind of left out. You know, it's just No, that's so fun. That's um, how many questions did you have time for? When did you have to be at work? Um,
feel? Yeah, what, what do you want to do as far as... Um, like how much time? Are you talking like one minute or five minutes? No, I think like, like eight to nine minutes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, well, to be honest, I... Um, I'm in Dallas, my mom is in the other room, and my little sister is here, we're about to go to like a 15. So, I, um, I have to go soon, but I really wanted to, to talk about the fact that I got engaged, and I don't know, I think, I'm, I never thought I was going to get married, and I'm engaged, and the dude that I got engaged to, um, I only knew him for like seven days, and, <laughs> and on the eighth day, he asked me to marry him, and I said yes, and I was really stoked about it, and I keep like, I was kind of overwhelmed to try to like figure out everything that's happening, because I was in Mexico for so long, and then I was in Mexico for like six months doing a radio show, and we met over the internet, <laughs> I was doing a gig in Dallas, that's where I, I'm from, but I was doing a gig in Dallas, and I came back, and I'm working on, like, my dual citizenship, but we went on a first date, and it just, from the very beginning, it was, I always felt right. And he, like, came to the door, and talked to my mom, and he, um, bought me, like, a sunflower on the first day, that's not really why I said yes, I said yes for a lot of reasons, and I said yes, just because, like, whenever he would touch me, it was, it was, like, the sun, and it was really nice, it was perfect, it was kind of everything that I wanted, and then we, um, do you, do you, like, every day, and what? Do you, do you want to do a toast? Do you want to do a toast? Yes, yes, that's okay. actually, I mean, I kind um, of like perfect, yeah, if you have, like, like, a drink. Like, like, Do you, do you guys have, like, um, do you have drinks for everyone, or does everyone have a drink? We're, we can make that happen right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep going. Go yeah, stop. stop. Keep on telling us about, uh, oh, are you still there? <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> yeah. Like it's like an exercise, you know, like if you, or I don't know, maybe it's not an exercise, but I'm just saying, like, I don't want to get rusty, like, I didn't want to, like, just all of a sudden be a month, get be by myself, although I kind of wasn't, because all I was doing was, like, reading and writing and all of that stuff. What I'm saying is, like, I knew what I wanted, and it was exactly what I wanted, and it was, I was, like, kind of making excuses every time I go out with, like, lame people, but that's not even what I want to talk about. I want to talk more about him and to make a toast to just like follow in your gut and just like knowing when something is right and also like knowing when something is wrong and staying around when something is wrong. And that's something that I really got to appreciate and like learn is that, I don't know, like I, I don't know, like I, I never thought that I would believe one is monogamy and two in marriage, especially because I'm not even religious. I am not, um, you know, I don't really believe in the government or like institutional stuff. And it's just all, I just, we're also gonna, we're just always in sync. Like, we agree that we would say dirty vows to one another as well, which I think is really funny. And so, we, my mom is gonna marry us. She's just practicing like a pastor. So, we have to like, shyly tell each other on her vows, like, I don't know, I just try to think of something because I want to make, when we want to make each other laugh, like, when we're up there, so then we won't be, like, crying babies, because we're both crying babies, usually, um, but I said something like a hundred balls would be funny, like, I would want to suck on his balls, like, every day, or um, so the rest of my life, we're just, like, because they're going to look the same, you know, and they're all great, they great, I mean, I guess they drop or get like wrinkly or something like that, but usually <laughs> they stay the same, I think, I'm not sure. But I, he also has a daughter, I don't know why that was so segue, but I know also has a daughter, <laughs> he has a fictional daughter, and she's super fucking rad, um, we're gonna start a punk band, she doesn't know it yet, <laughs> she like freestyles, like, like, nobody's, like, as if she was, I don't know, a rap star already in the making and she's so smart and she's really kind and welcoming and then like the first time I met her she asked me to move in with them and she didn't even know like I was his sweetheart or anything like that she was we were just hanging out she thinks I was more of her 
friends and it was his friends. And it wasn't until I went back to Mexico to do a gig and he told her, like, oh, do you know that Christian and I, like, are together? And then she said, you should ask her to marry me or, like, or did you ask her to marry you? Oh, my God. And so she's already, like, on board and she's super stoked and, I don't know, did everyone get a drink? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Make me fall 
forget my name. Let's try to So poor old Kevin Rowland Sat sat upon the countdown of the greatest one-hit wonders But there's more than that, my friend A keen ear for melody, the sharpest pen on record The silence said my light was green I knew what she was like, they all sounded the same Thirteen times I went, I reminisced One and two, loving parts, one and two I was a dancer, I was a wanderer I was in heaven, like Jackie Wilson said Like Kevin Rowland said I'm really jealous of the lineup you guys had tonight. I'm really pleased to be a part of it. It's too bad I couldn't see it.